one of the fundamental reasons why I believe we must have restraint on the creation of credit. And that is, if you truly believe in freedom, if you truly believe in a free society, if you do, that means you believe that government should be limited to the protection of your liberty, not to the transfer of wealth. The paper money system is there to enhance those who believe in the transfer of wealth. You can transfer just so much wealth with taxation and the people rebel. But we're at the point now that we can't tax them anymore. But we did run up the deficit, so we delivered this to the Fed, and the Fed accommodates us. The Fed accommodates the politician, and the politician gets reelected. So what does he do? Not only does he destroy the economy by manipulating the whole business cycle by the creation of new money, what he does is we lose twice because he takes the money and he spends it on programs that don't work. Instead of doing the things they were supposed to do, the programs do exactly the opposite. You don't get more houses by the government building houses, you get less. And I also have come to the conclusion that in the last few years that you don't even get more defense when you spend more money in the military budget. You get less defense for that. So I would say that so often when you can get the money so cheaply by just sending a little Federal Reserve or sending over a treasury bill and get whatever you need, that I would say this enhances and it gives the ability of the politician and government to be all powerful. And that to me is our great threat because the programs are a threat to our freedom. The money, as it's being destroyed and as it's being inflated and causes the crises that we see around the world, those crises threaten the political freedoms. I believe that if we could have a free society and sound money and gave up all our material assets, I believe that if we had our freedoms, we could survive without any difficulty whatsoever. But the problem today is, is what we're doing is we're destroying the money and at the same time destroying our freedoms. It was not by accident that the currency had to change over a period of time The government size grew. So from 1913 to 1971, systematically they eroded and destroyed the commodity standard. As weak as it was, there was still some residual uh, relationship of the paper to a gold standard up until 71, but since then there has been nothing. And it's for this reason you see the escalation of spending, government programs, and no restraint whatsoever. So it is this participation between the politicians and the central bank, which not only threatens our economic security, which is secondary to the threat to our individual freedom.